Do you use OneDrive? You probably do. Are you getting loads of links to shared files which people are sharing with you for the purpose of collaboration or just to work together or to get your feedback or wanting you to add something to a document and these links are coming to you from all directions, whether it's an email, it's a chat message, it's a post in Teams, even through social media, and you just can't keep track of all these linked files. Who sent what? What platform did they use? What was the name of the file? When did they send it? Just trying to remember what file was sent to you so you can find it and work on it is a big challenge. My name is Nicholas Buffidis. I'm from Sunny Cypress and I'm here to help you get organized. Let's get started. Before we start getting organized, it's very important to understand what is actually happening when someone shares a file with you. Now, the file is actually shared on their OneDrive. So the file belongs to them. They're simply sending you a link which is a path to their file. So what we need to organize is basically those links. Now you may receive an email like this one, which has what looks like a file attached to it, but it's not a file because if we rest our mouse on top of this, we can see there is a link there, okay? And that's really important to understand. You may receive an email like this where somebody has attached the link. It looks like the file name, but if we again, if we leave our mouse on top of this, we can see it is the same link. So we're basically looking at the URL and sometimes the link may look like this. Um, the, the text itself is the link, but behind that text is exactly the same link again. So it's very important to understand that what is actually being shared with you is a link and it is the links that we need to organize. Now, the solution is really very, very easy and very simple. I have here an account uh, which I've signed into. This is a test account and I'm in my OneDrive. So if I just close this and open this again, so this is 365, I've simply gone to here and opened OneDrive and I can see my files in OneDrive. So I've got here the sections, my files. These are the files that I would see if I have OneDrive synced to my computer as an application. And uh, by the way, guys, I just want to make a note that this organization that we're going to do will also synchronize to your OneDrive applications, whether it's on your mobile phone as an app, on your Windows device, on any device where you've got OneDrive, you will be able to get organized using this method. So all I've done here inside the My Files, I've created a new folder and I've called it Shared Files With Me. Now, it doesn't, the, the name doesn't matter and the color of the folder doesn't matter. Just create a folder so it can help you to identify where you're going to be saving all of these links. So if we have a look and see what's inside this folder right now, I've simply got one folder here and this folder is called the ICT department and I'm going to be using this folder to organize any shared files which have been shared with me in, which are related to the ICT department in this folder. Okay, and currently I don't have anything in there. So how are we going to organize ourselves? Well, the next area we're gonna have a look at in OneDrive is this one here, shared. And when we go to the shared section, there are two areas, shared with you and shared by you. So the shared by you are the files that belong to you. These are in your OneDrive and you create a share link to send to other people. I'm not going to cover that. I've got another video tutorial on that and how you can actually manage those links. You can find that in the description of this video down below. We're going to look at files shared with you. So these are all the files that have been shared with this account, this person here, student number four. And what we're going to do, we're going to see, well, if if you get a lot of files shared with you, this folder is a very, very, very big folder that you've probably got hundreds of files in here and hundreds of folders. And everything that's been shared with you is in here. So when does it appear in this folder? Well, if somebody shares something like this with you, and they create a link and they attach you to work on that particular file or folder, it will automatically appear in the shared with you folder. If somebody sends you a link, you know, the link where you create anyone with the link can edit or anyone with the link can read, it will only appear in the shared with you section in your OneDrive when you actually click and open that file. You don't necessarily have to edit it, but once you click on open it and you're in your account, it will automatically put it there. So essentially all of your files are in the shared, in, in the shared section with you. All the files that have been shared with you, if you've opened them, you will find them here. So let's organize them. 
very simple. If I want to um, organize this file, I'm going to click on the dot, dot, dot. I'm going to say add shortcut. I'm not going to choose my files because if I choose my files, then it's going to dump the shortcut of this in the my files section where I've got all my personal files and it's probably going to get lost in there because I've got so many files. So I'm going to click on the dot, dot, dot. I'm going to choose add shortcut, other locations. It's going to open the my file section and here's my green folder. This is why I made it green. It's easy to identify. I'm going to open this and I want to put this in the ICT department. So I'm going to open that folder, click select. Voila, done. That's it, guys. I've organized that link. If I want to take another file, do I have another one in here? Um, let's open this one here. And I can add a shortcut. So this is basically a folder that's been shared with me. So I'm going to organize the folder as well. But let's say I just want to organize another file. I'm going to click on the dot, dot, dot. I'm going to go to add shortcut, other locations. And this time I don't want to put it. So there's my shared files with me. I don't want to put it inside this folder. I want to generate a new one, but I forgot to make one. So I'm just going to very easily click on new folder or right click new folder, create a folder. I'm going to say, um, I don't know, this is going to be shared with admin, let's say, whatever. So this is the where I'm going to organize any files from the administration. I'm just going to make that a red folder. I like the color coded folders. There you go. Click on select. Voila, it's done. So where are they now? I'm just going to click on my OneDrive just to go to the root very quickly, my files. I go to sh my shared with me files. I now have my new admin folder. Inside is the file which I've organized. And here is the ICT department, the file which I organized. Now, this particular folder, because it's in your My Files section now, it's going to automatically synchronize. If you've got the OneDrive application, it will automatically synchronize in your OneDrive on your Windows, your mobile phones, and this, that, the other. Now, I've got my shared folder here. So this is my personal one. I've got my shared with me folder. And you can see I've got two folders. This is staff names. I've just got the initials. And inside here, I can put my... Uh, organized files and these automatically sync uh, whenever I add a shortcut to it and I can open this very easily now you can see here it's a link it's not a file so if it's a word document that they shared with you and you have organized it in your folder what you're doing you're adding the link to that folder so you're organizing the links and that's why that was really important to understand that's why I don't see here, for example, an, uh, uh, an icon for Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word, because it is, it is a link. Okay, what else do we want to see? Well, let's say somebody shared a folder with us, and I want to organize that folder. So this folder here, the whole folder with all of these files has been shared with me, and I basically want to put that in my ICT department subfolder so I know how to find it easily. So again, I'm just going to go back here. And now I'm going to click. This is slightly different because if I click on the dot, 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 I only get the add shortcut to my files. I can't do the same as I do with a file where you've got add shortcut and you get other locations. So I'm going to, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to click on the dot, dot, dot. And this time I'm going to copy the link. Now I'm going to copy the link to this folder because if I choose this one add shortcut to my it's going to add this folder in the my file section and again it's going to get messy now if I do do that I can move it from my file section to another folder it gets a bit complicated so I'm just going to do copy link okay I'm just going to do quick allow okay so there you go the link has been copied and now I'm going to go to my files I'm going to open the shared files with me I want to put this, organize that folder in the ICT department. So from here, I'm going to go to new and I'm going to choose a link. Now, remember, I copied the link to the folder. So I'm going to click on that and then here's it, create link to. I'm going to paste my link, so control V. Then it's going to say, well, what's the name of this shortcut? Well, this is the, let's say this, this folder was to do with, I don't know, say past paper, past paper exercises or exercise and click create. Voila, I now have a link to that folder in my organized section. And when I click on this, 
it will open it. And this again will synchronize directly into my OneDrive, which is on my Windows or my mobile phone. So I now can organize all of those links very, very easily, very, very quickly. I'm going to show you one more tip. And this is basically if you want to organize the links from files which have been shared with you, but you don't want to connect to your 365 account online, you want to save time. So you basically got this email or you've got an email with a link like one of these two links and you don't want to open it and then go to 365, log into OneDrive, go to the shared with me and do the, uh, the whole um, create shortcut. You can do this. So on any one of these, this one here, you right click, copy hyperlink or this one, copy, right click, copy hyperlink or this type of email, right click, copy hyperlink. The hyperlink is exactly the same. So I've copied it. Next step is you can go to your OneDrive. So let's say here, this is the shared with me, which I've got in my personal one. And if I want to store this, let's say with a, these are files that I'm getting, let's say from, I don't know, I'm getting again this from admin, admin. And this is the folder I'm gonna have all my, all my links to shared files that admin shares with me. I'm gonna open this folder. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to new shortcut. It says type the location of the item. I'm going to paste that there. Next. And let's say this is, I don't know, uh, from admin policy, policy for 2024, 20, 25. Let's say that's what this file is about. Finish. That's it. I now have organized the link to that file in a folder which I now have in my shared OneDrive, in my OneDrive, which is synced across my devices, and I can find these files very, very easily. So that's it. Short video, very simple to do, a very simple process. All you have to remember is all of these emails or messages that you're getting where it says somebody has shared a file with you. It's not the file, it's a link. We simply want to organize the links. And you can do that by either copying the link and creating a shortcut, or you can go directly from your 365 account in OneDrive, go to shared with me, or with you, it's gonna say find it, click on the dot, dot, dot. And then from there you can go to add shortcut other locations. If it's a folder, we need to copy the link to the folder. Then we go to our section in my files, find where we want to save it. And then we can simply add a new link, add the link, give it a name and that's it. So if you've learned something new and you feel you can now get organized, you know the drill. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and I see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.